to this latest episode of Girl Toys. In this episode, I will handle a subject which is called Value Converters. Value Converters for Value Forms. And it has everything to do with data binding and DVM pattern and that kind of stuff. But um, just, it's a level 100, 200 kind of subject, so I'll just level it down to 100 because it's not that hard. Um, and let's just dive right into the code. I have already prepared a little sample project here, which will show a list of games uh, and whenever it has some kind of platform, uh, I want to show it in the list with a different color. Um, so let's just check out how I did this. Uh, here you see the code behind for the page in which I create an observable collection of games. And it has three. Uh, one is to do with Mario, and it is available on the Wii. And here's one for the PlayStation, here's one for the Xbox. So the thing is, here you see this game platform, and that is a E. So you can see it here, it's nothing special, it's just an E platform with three values in it. Now, depending on this value, I want to change the color of the list you have. Um, so, but that poses a problem, of course, because if we go back to the example for our page, uh, which is here, let's get this over into view. Then you see I'll just do a little styling thing for iOS so it doesn't paint behind the status bar. And here you see a basic list view which has a data template and for each of the games I'm binding to it will show a text cell and just show the text with the name of the game. So when I run this we will see a not so exciting sample app which shows the three games, the titles of the games and they're all the different colors, which is the default kind of theme color of uh, Android here. So this is where I want to, to make the change. I want to show you different colors. Um, but this is a problem because if I want to, uh, of course I want to set the text color here and if I say OK, I want to do a binding to the, what's the name, the game platform. Uh, that's, that's not going to work because it's not going to see like, hey, OK, this is, this is the even value you're using and that is um, coupled with this color. It's, it's not going to understand that magically, so you have to influence some magic yourself. And because if you're looking at this, it still works, but you see nothing nothing changes because it doesn't understand what, what value to bind to what color. Um, and this is where the value configures come. But before we can make this work, we have to add a value configure. You can see here I've already created a folder for it. So let's add a class to it. A file. Now let's call it the platform um, to color converter. Converter. And it will create a force. So here we have a empty class. And all you have to do now is implement the high value converter interface. And implement its methods. And then you'll see two methods come up the convert and convert that. And as you might have guessed, the one method is used for converting uh, it one way, and convert back is for the opposite way. Uh, basically, if you're just doing UI stuff here, you only have to implement the convert one. Um, so in our case, we are going to convert this enum value game platform to a color, but there is no way to convert this color back to a game platform. 
Of course, it, it is possible if you have some scenario where you want to implement that, you can do it. Uh, you probably should uh, implement the two-way binding here as a mode, and then you can deduce the game platform uh, value from the color that's in it. But in our case, that's not what's happening. So this is going to be just like this, because it will never be color. So what you see here is that the convert gets one parameter, uh, which is a object, and it also spits out one object. So you have to put in some um, some casting, uh, another way to determine if the value that's coming in is of the right type. So let's just check uh, if the value isn't no anyways. Maybe it passes through here when it's uh, initializing or something. And let's get them just to turn the color black, which will be beautiful for us. So now we have introduced one scenario. And then we're going to see if it's actually the Eden we're after, uh, which we also have to parse as well. So let's just do a try parse here. Um, I'll the value uh, to string. And we're going to put that in the out value of type info. Okay, the name is a bit unlucky here because also the form size of my form of course is not this one. What's that one? The value. Okay. And if that doesn't work, we're going to fall back to black again. But if it does work, then we now have the enum value to work with. So now I can just introduce a switch on the enum value. And we just create all the cases here. So that from PlayStation will be purple. Red, Super Red, and for the Xbox, I'll just do green. And also, let's specify the default. So, if there by any chance comes any value that we don't recognize, then it will still just be black. Okay, so that's basically our logic. Now every path returns a value. Um, so now we just have to assign this to our, to our data template somehow. Uh, but first, let me tell you a little bit more about this. Uh, of course, this can be any logic. You can write all your logic here that you, that is needed to convert the incoming object to the outcoming object that you need. So let's look at how we can implement it here. Here we have the text color that binds to the game platform. So this will be the value that is supplied to our convert method. Now when we say here we want to also implement a converter and you have to specify it as a static resource which can be a resource on this same page, but it can also be a resource on application level if you have a converter that you use throughout your whole application, you can also put it on application level and just reference it everywhere. Uh, and we have to specify a name for it, so let's just go with that form to color converter again. Converter. And then we have to, I'm just going to Add it on the page here, so we're going to see content page. Uh, oops, um, resources. Intelligence is failing in here, but it should work. And 
And here we can generally just specify the converter, but it's another namespace, so we need to add the namespace here first. Uh, it's it's converters is Is because it's in our namespace, my default namespace is simple value converters because that's how the project is named, and it's in the folder value converters. And because uh, Visual Studio uses this folder naming conventions to uh, specify the namespaces, so you'll see that it's, it's this. And if it's in another, you can also define your converters in another assembly and then you would have to do the semicolon and say assembly is uh, and you can use the name of the output assembly here so to name your dll basically uh, converters uh, but you can you can leave this out if it's in the same assembly so in this case it's not really helpful but you can do it anyway so now we have this converters namespace and i can use it here to say okay converters and now specify the name of your actual converter which is platform to color in this case and you have to give it not an x name like it suggests but an x key uh, so mind you that's Pitfall, and we have to use the same name as we did here to specify on our data template. So let's do like this, and then we can use the self closing tag for this. So now this is linked to here, and whenever this binding is done, this will be used as the input parameter and be converted by our platform to color converter. So basically, that's it. If I now build the solution and wait for the emulator to come up, which will be in just a second, and we should see. Oh, they're all black, so something is going wrong. Okay, let's just see what's going on here. We can just put a breakpoint in and do this again. And let's see what's happening. Okay, play value is okay, B, so something should happen here. Ah, let's see. It's a type of it should be if it is not it should return black. Because we want it to be not black, so this should be better. Let's see if it does do that now. Here it comes. Here we go. Here you can see, depending on which platform it is, it will be red, purple, and green. So this way you can implement your own kind of logic to convert any object to any object and not have to litter your view models with this logic which is basically used for your UI. You don't think that in a view model or business code or whatever. So this is a nice way to do it. And if you were a user of the M fractor plugin then it is wrong, then this type doesn't match the one in your computer, then it will give you real-time feedback and it will not blow up on you. So if you haven't used Mfactor yet, then go check it out. And well, that's basically all I have on value converters for now. So I hope, hope you learned something. And stay tuned for the next episodes. Please subscribe to my channel and see you later.